name is Tiana Taylor. And I'm Mary Foster. And we're from Michigan State University, Lyme Briggs College, um, cohort at STEM Scholars, STEM Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics, funded by the National Science Foundation. So today's video is on solubility. Solubility is the ability of one substance to dissolve in another, which is referred to as a solvent. In our next video, we're going to look at a real life example that everybody knows, the making of Kool-Aid. Today, Eric is just going to focus on how salt dissolves in water. Salt is sodium chloride and it's going to dissociate in water and we know that temperature is going to affect that because at a higher temperature things are able to dissolve more. Hi kids, so Tiana talked to you about molecules, dissociation, and solubility. Well here it is at the zoomed in level. This is our number one solvent, water. In case you don't recognize it, that's because this is what it looks like at a real microscopic level when you're looking really, 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 really close. So everything in the world is made of building blocks. Just how you might build a tall skyscraper building made out of little Lego blocks, same thing as far as molecules, especially water. Here are atoms hydrogen and oxygen that make up water. Similarly, when we go to salt, we have two atoms or two building blocks that make up the molecule salt, sodium and the chloride, which is Cl. Now our solvent water is just like a magnet. It has opposite charge size. You ever had a magnet? Notice that they pull together towards each other? Well, this works the same way. The oxygen has a minus charge, which is going to attract positively charged things, which is sodium. Works the opposite way for hydrogen, positively charged tracks negatively charged. So the ability of the minus oxygen to attract the positive sodium and negative chloride to attract the positive hydrogen is solubility. So salt, when it dissolves, it's called disassociation. So basically, this is dependent on a factor known as temperature, heat. So the hotter our water gets, the more efficiently, the better it will be able to pull the salt molecule apart. Same thing when it's cold, except it works in the opposite way. The colder it gets, the less able the water molecule will be to dissociate or dissolve our salt molecule, NaCa. So don't forget to tune in next time for our video on solubility in the real life, the making of Kool-Aid. Yeah, this time we'll monitor exactly how temperature affects the solubility of water. Bye! See you later. The making of Kool-Aid, it's water dissolving sugar. And so, in... Don't forget to tune in next time. Solubility in the real life. The making of Kool-Aid. No, 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 no. It's called disassociation. So... Salt, when it dissolves, it's called disassociation. 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 So, salt, when it dissolves, it's called disassociation. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs>